So I'm excited to share with you guys that the future of marine biology is now. And it's made possible because of this incredible invention. It's called the eye dive. You can see the logo there. It was invented actually by a colleague of mine who I know from working out in French Polynesia, uh, who wanted to be able to use an iPad underwater. And uh, this could be incredibly useful because you could get all sorts of data that you couldn't otherwise collect. Um, but you can also directly input data in an electronic format. So you don't have to write things on a piece of paper and then translate it later and run the risk of having errors in the data. So it's really useful on multiple fronts. But for me, it's kind of a dream come true because when Heather and I were out here in Thailand last summer, we kept thinking, how amazing would it be to be able to follow these fish like we were doing and recording their behaviors, but if we could record the exact instant that things are happening, we could know the moments, the seconds that each fish is taking a bite or is being attacked by another fish or is being cleaned by a wrasse, all these different behaviors that we're logging um, you know, over these time periods, we could actually have the exact moments that they're happening, which gives you a level of, of resolution and insight that you couldn't possibly otherwise get. So it's an incredibly exciting thing. Um, fortunately for me, I'm obviously holding one, so I have friends in high places. Uh, they were able to send me one of these guys, uh, an eye dive housing, uh, which we actually outfitted ourselves with these little tactile markers, which are little buttons that allow you to uh, triangulate uh, where you are in the button interface. And so essentially what we do is we build a button scheme with this really awesome app called Time Stamped Field Data. Uh, and I create all these little buttons. And then you can hit them as things happen. It'll log exactly when things happen and whatever you want to, whatever you want to look for. And you can put a bunch of buttons in. So you can have all kinds of, it's almost limitless, the possibilities of what you can do with this. So this is super duper exciting. And like I said, it's going to give us an unprecedented resolution of understanding of what these reef fish are doing. And of course, these are reef fish that are ecologically vital because they clean the reef of algae that can otherwise kill coral. So this is really important stuff we're doing, uh, made all the more effective by the eye dive housing. Unfortunately, they were sold out of these when I left for Thailand. Um, so Heather and I got in touch with the eye dive housing folks, and they actually are trying to send us one now from Hong Kong. Um, but we had some bad luck in Hong Kong with the CO2 cartridges. You guys may have saw in the earlier video, the CO2 cartridges that power these. This can also be powered, by the way, with a scuba cylinder with a first stage. Um, but in our case, since we're snorkeling, we want to power it with CO2 cartridges. So we've had some bad luck with Hong Kong already. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that the second eye dive housing comes through for us, because what that would mean is uh, Heather could be collecting data at the same time. I'm collecting data so we could double our data intake rate. Uh, and more data means more insights. So think happy thoughts and uh, send positive vibes to Hong Kong for us.